In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use an effect on more than one track. So I'm going to play this track right now. I've got a little pad here on the top on this yellow track, a couple little uh, faster note patterns here on these two green tracks, and then a bass part here on the bottom. So here's the track, or all four tracks. So what I want to do is I want to be able to apply a delay to both of these two middle tracks. So this is what those tracks sound like just on their own. Okay, so normally what I would want to do is, um, these are my instruments right here. So. Um, uh, these are a software instrument track. What I can also do is in these inserts, I could add a multi-channel delay in here. And then I could even sync it up to the tempo. So I want to sync this and I want to do this by, let's say, eighth notes. And in fact, I'm going to do eighth notes on the left channel and quarter notes on the right. So let's see what this sounds like. And I'm going to check the web try and mix and actually add a little bit of feedback as well here. So you can hear all that delay kind of goes on for a bit. But what I want to do is I want to apply a delay like this to both these tracks. So now what I could do is just take this delay, do this, and then put in another delay over here on this track. Um, right, and so now I've got a delay on one track and a delay on, on the other. What would be nice is if I could actually have both of these going into a single delay, because uh, that would actually save me some processor power. So I'm not duplicating, I'm not doing two uh, processes at the same time, right? Because this delay would be processing and this one would be going at the same time. So I'm gonna remove these. So I'm going to go no insert and no insert. So now the delay is gone. So what I can do is I can use an aux track to then hold a delay and then send the signal from both of these tracks to that aux track. So I'll go to track, go to new. I'm going to create one new stereo, right? Because this is going to be a stereo effect. And I'm going to do an aux input, and I'll keep it at samples. I'll hit create. Actually, I'm going to put this below the base. So my base, so here's my aux. And now what I can do is I can add a multi-channel delay or whatever effect I want to this track. I'm going to make this eighth notes. Uh, left channel is eighth. Right note is uh, quarter notes. I'm going to add some feedback to both. A little more feedback here. So now if I just hit play, there's no delay coming into here yet. So what I need to do is actually send the delay from these two tracks into this. And to do that, I have to use uh, a Pro Tools' internal bus system. And this is pretty universal in any DAW. Uh, Ableton does this, Logic will do this in different kinds of ways. So I'm gonna go up to the Edit View Window Selector here and I'm going to select sends A to E. So now I have a new column here, and this is now sends. So what I can do is I can send the output of, or send this track also, instead of the output, it's going to go on the output. I'm going to send this also on the bus, the internal bus. I'm going to make this bus one and two, because it is stereo. Uh, you could also, if it was mono, you could also just, whoops. You could also select just one, but I'm gonna have the input of this aux be bus one and two. And then the same with this instrument here, the bus is gonna be, so this would be a mono signal, these bus one and bus two, but if I do together, this will be stereo. Okay, great. And now what I need to do is I need to also see the IO. So I'm gonna let me select IO. 
And so the input for this aux track, there is no input right now. What I'm going to do with the input is going to be bus 1 and 2. So now signal will come from these two tracks, get sent into this track, and then go out to our speakers. Okay, so I've got my this sending out to bus 1 and 2, this track sending out to bus 1 and 2, and I've got my delay set up here in this track. So I should be all set. Let's see what happens. I hit play. I'm going to solo these three tracks. So I just hear them. I'm going to hear these two tracks and then the effect. And let me hit play. And I get no effect. I forgot a step. So this is actually really important. And this will vary between different uh, DAWs, how they handle sends and receives and aux tracks and things like that. So it isn't enough to just send it. What I actually need to do is, is uh, I can also control the level of this. So what I can do is I can do this with automation. If I click over here under clips and go all the way down to bus one and two and then level, and you can see it's set to nothing here. So let me bring this up. Uh, and I'll bring it up quite a bit. And I'll do the same then with this track as well. Bring it up as well. Okay. So now we should actually hear this. So there's without the effect. And now with the effect. And you can hear it ring on for quite a ways. So just remember all these steps. Uh, when we want to apply an effect to multiple tracks, we're going to create an aux input. We will then send the signal on a bus from the tracks, right? And so uh, in this case, bus one and two, Right. Then for the aux input, we're going to make the input for this aux track, bus 1 and 2. And then we also need to increase the levels for both of these uh, tracks, so the output of the bus, so the signal that we're putting to the bus, that's going to go to this track. So a little bit uh, complicated, but not that bad. If you just think about signal flow and how uh, signal uh, goes through the program, um, this should be pretty easy to kind of set up. So now you know how you, to apply an effect to a single track, but also to multiple tracks as well. One last thing I want to say about using an aux track like this is that we can also automate the effects as well. So just like we can automate volume and panning, uh, we can also, if I click on the effect and turn on automation here, I can uh, add any of these as a, right, so I've got some feedback left and uh, feedback right. All right. So these are all different parameters I can automate. And so now, if I go over here and go to mod right I, now, if I, for instance, feedback left, this will change the amount of feedback over time in this track. So as I do this again, watch this, this right here, this feedback will follow this, uh, this automation signal right here. Okay, so uh, just like any other track, uh, a MIDI track or a stereo track, I can also have automation in an aux track as well.